Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, and glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God levels you up and they are so hurt. They just found out this about him. God leveled you up and they are so hurt. They just found out this about you. They are so, you know, when somebody is, uh, they are shaking. They are shaking. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes I, I've really tried to, to understand life. I've really tried to comprehend this. <laughs> I've really tried, like, I really want to understand some things sometimes. But, you know... There are things you can never understand. No matter how you try to understand, there are things you can never understand. Now, why am I saying this? Excuse me, please. Why am I saying this? The reason I'm saying this is because there are people that you know that should be happy for you when God starts blessing you. There are people you expected to be celebrating with you the moment something great starts happening to you or in your life. There are people you expected to look at you and say, congratulations, the moment you received that testimony, that miracle, that breakthrough in your life. But sometimes you notice that their characters becomes the opposite. Sometimes you notice that behaviors becomes the opposite. Now, there is this particular word that says, watch those who do not clap for you when you win. I say it again. There is this particular statement. I don't know the person who said that, but that is very important. The statement says, watch those who do not clap when you win. When you have a con congratulations on your name, when you have the success, you have the victory, always watch those who do not clap for you. It's very important. And the reason I say it's very important is because sometimes God begins to reveal to us a lot of people, a lot of snitch, a lot of snakes around us. And most of the times we will not understand Sometimes God speaks in parables. You notice when Jesus was on earth in human form, you notice he spoke in parables a lot. Jesus will hardly just say something straight. He will say something and then he speaks in parables. He talks about it in parables and sometimes it gets a lot of people confused. They're like, Master, what are you talking about? What are you saying? There are things that are coded. Not everything is uncoded. So inside of something that is coded, you receive the wisdom. It is only through wisdom that you begin to understand some kind of things. There are people who will who, be with you until God starts levering you up. There are people who would condole with you until God starts levering you up. They will watch everything you're doing, but they will behave like they are not watching it. They will behave like they are not seeing it. Now, I teach you an aside secret. Always learn to connect to a success. I say it again. Always learn to connect to a success. You never know. You never know. Shabana <sighs> kosiatala. I say it again for the last time. Always learn to connect to a success. You never know. Jealousy is a spirit. Jealousy is a spirit that wants to use you. For example, not you. I'm giving an example. Okay. So jealousy is a spirit that wants to use you 
So, <laughs> you know, there was this particular comedy. Somebody said, for example, your mother that said, no, don't use me in the example. It's just an example. For example, this, no, I don't want to be. <laughs> if it's an example, it should be something positive. Now, jealousy is a spirit that wants to use the person to attack the person they are jealous of and then to attack their own life. Now, how do I come out with this particular definition? Because when you're jealous of somebody, for example, all what you see about them is mostly negative. And the spirit always wants you to attack them. The spirit always wants you to do a lot of things against them. Uh-huh. So when you're jealous of somebody, all what you want to see is competition and attack. And then what happens is in the process, you lose yourself. You lose your own self because you're so concentrated on somebody. And this is what is happening in somebody's life right now. God leveled you up and they are so heartbroken. They are, oh Jesus, they are so heartbroken. They are so heartbroken because they expected it to be them. They expected to be in that position. They wanted the blessings to be in their lives. Honey, God blesses people in their individual timings. They are so hurting. They are cracking up. They are dying right now in so much heartbreak and pain because God leveled you up. They just found out something about your life is changing. They just found out an increase. They just found out that you're moving from glory to glory. They just found out you're doing so fine. And right now, it's been heartbroken for them. It's been heartbroken for them. Please put your hand on your chest and say, Lord, help me not to be jealous. Say it again. Say, Lord, help me not to be jealous of somebody. Say, help me to admire people. Help me to learn from people. In Jesus' name, amen. Leave your hand on your chest again and say, I will only increase. Say, I will only increase. I will only be at the top. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. You will only increase in Jesus' name, amen. Please, if these have been of great help and blessings to you, I would beg on you that you please pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you to. Please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and subscribe. God bless you. You're welcome to the family. If you just subscribed now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you, and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing amazing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.